Imagine your doctor performing an autopsy, wiping bloody hands on his coat, then delivering your baby minutes later, without washing his hands. This isn't a horror story, not even 200 years ago, it was standard medical practice. In 1846, a Hungarian physician named Ignaz Semmelweis was horrified by the rates of childbed fever killing new mothers. Working at Vienna General Hospital, he methodically collected data from two maternity wards, one staffed by male doctors, the other by female midwives. His findings were shocking. Women died at nearly five times the rate in the doctor-managed ward. The critical difference? Doctors routinely performed autopsies before delivering babies, while midwives did not. Semmelweis made a revolutionary connection. Invisible, cadaverous particles transferred from dead bodies to living women were causing deadly infections. His solution was brilliantly simple. Mandatory hand washing with chlorinated lime solution. The results were immediate and dramatic. Maternal mortality plummeted from 18.3% to just 1.3%. Yet, instead of celebration, Semmelweis faced ridicule and outrage. Established doctors refused to accept they were killing their patients. They fired him, ostracized him, and destroyed his reputation. Devastated by his failure to save more lives, Semmelweis suffered a nervous breakdown at 47. His own medical colleagues committed him to an asylum, where guards brutally beat him, causing a hand injury that became infected. The tragic irony, he died two weeks later from sepsis, an infection of the blood, the same infection he had spent his life trying to eradicate.